today we are going to perform the gay characteristics of pn junction diode study of pn junction characteristics so for this we have drawn this circuit diagram this is diode and this is one resistor and this is one power supply voltage supply dc voltage supply so uh, we have to connect the ammeter that is current meter in series with the series in the circuit and we have connected the voltage voltmeter vdc across the power supply vdc everything is connected in series now uh, this is our diode you can see so this is the negative terminal white white ring is showing negative terminal so this is negative terminal and this is positive terminal and this is 1 kilo ohm resistor so we will uh, this is 1 kilo ohm resistor we have taken so this is 1 kilo ohm resistor now we can connect the circuit so we can connect the circuit according to this diagram so we have connected this diode and we have to connect this uh, resistor also so we have connected separately so we can so this is our power supply so this is 0 to 30 volt power supply so we can take power from here so this is positive terminal this is negative terminal we have connected and we will take power supply from this now we have to connect the we have to connect the current meter that is uh, a meter in series in the circuit so we can connect this voltmeter uh, in series so we can take this as a meter so, and we will take this multimeter as a voltmeter we will use this multimeter as a voltmeter now we can connect this so this one is the current meter now so we can connect the output of this output of this diode will be taken from here and it will go to the current meter so this is current meter so we have to measure the current so we can connect it here and we will take out the ground one. so this is common terminal we can con we can connect it uh, mere uh, ampere, uh, ampere or milliampere so we now now we are taking we are taking the milliampere range so this is in milliampere now this is common so this will be going to the this will be returning to the circuit so this will be returning to the circuit so we can connect it like this and return it to the uh, resistor point so this is a resistor point we have connected like this now we have to connect the power supply so this is power supply so this is the power supply so we have to connect this power supply across the uh, across the circuit so this is plus so we can connect it plus so plus will be connected here at this point at the positive terminal of the diode and the minus will be connected to the uh, other terminal of the resistor so now our connection is completed now we have to measure the voltage uh, which we are supplying this so this supply voltage we have to measure so we'll, uh, for this we will use this voltmeter this voltmeter this multimeter as a voltmeter so we can connect this these two terminals plus and minus so this is set at voltage and common point now so voltage will be connected to the this voltage terminal here and the negative the negative uh, the ground point is connected at the ground of the power supply now now we can switch on the power supply and take the readings so now i will give the power supply so the power supply is zero here so zero volt this is 0 0.0001 volt so this is 1 millivolt approximately so it is coming by default so now we, that is uh, we will assume that this is zero so now we will change the we will change the voltage and record it in this so we will change the voltage vdc and record it the idc so this is your, this is idc this current is diode current so we, we have connected this into series so this is connected into series and this is the voltmeter this is connected in parallel now we can change the uh, the power supply so now we can see uh, the power supply voltage will be reflecting here the current will be reflecting here now we have changed the power supply to let's say this is 0, 0, 0. 0.01 7 volt now the current is approximately equal to 0 again now we can change it to 0 0.2 volt so this current is 0 0.2 volt again the current is fluctuating so it is 0 0.0 0 0.2 milliampere approximately it is now we can change the power supply to 0 0.3 volt we have to record it we can record it 0 to 0 so this was uh, let's say let's say for 0 0.2 volt 0 0.1 volt so for 0 0.1 volt the current was 0 0.1 and this is in milliampere this is in milliampere this is in volt okay. now we can change again so to change it again 0 0.23 so this 
so the voltage is 0.23 volt and current is 0.2 milliampere approximately now we can again change this to 0.3 so this voltage is 0.343 and the current is now changed so current is approximate 2.0 milliampere you can see this is 2.0 milliampere now we can again change it to 0.4 volt so this is 0.4 volt our current is changed to 8.6 milliampere now now we can again change it so we are now changing it 0.5 so this is 0.54 volt and the current is changed to the current has been changed to 23.4 milliampere now we can again change so this is let's say 0 0.6 so this is 0 0.65 0 0.63 uh, the current has been changed up to 38.4 milliampere we have to again change it so we can change it and this is let's say uh, this is 0.7 millivolt so, so sorry 0.7 volt so at 0.7 volt for the supply the current is 56 so this is 56 point uh, 56 milliampere 56.0 now we have to again change it so we can again change it to 0 0.8 volt so this is 0 0.8 volt let's say and our current is 72 point 72 point uh, 71 point let's say 71.6 71.6 milliampere now we can again change it to 0 0.9 so this is 0 0.95 so this is 0 0.95 volt at this the current is 86 milliampere so this is 86 milliampere now we can again further change also for the uh, better graph so we can again change it to 1.0 volt so this is now 1.0 volt so at 1.0 volt the current is uh, the current is 99 milliampere okay now again take we can again, again take the reading so this is let's say 1.2 volt 1.1 volt so this is 1.1 volt and our current has been changed to 117 milliampere now we can again change so this is uh, now again i'm changing up to this is 1.2 so this is 1.2 volt 1.2 volt and the current has been changed up to 1 to 6 milliampere now we can again change so this is 1.3 volt let's say so this is 1.35 volt and the current has been changed up to 142 milliampere we can further change so we can further change 1.2 1.4 sorry so this is let's say 1.4 volt so this is 1.4 volt and the current has been changed to 1 137. I think this is there is something error. 1.4. This is 1.47 volt, and the current is 146 milliampere. So in this fashion, in this fashion, we can we can take the readings and we can plot it. So we can plot it in the graph, and it will be the graph will be coming like this. It will be uh, it will be in exponential nature. It should come like this. The graph will be coming in this nature. So this is VDC and this is IDC. So this is the diode characteristics we have. Study. Thank you.